when I had a deal, man, it just, the whole shit was weird. It was like being on, uh, what's that show? Uh, what the fuck that is? <laughs> get Out. It was like being on Get Out. Because I'm in the office and Jimmy Iovine with this hype ass shit. Hey, you want to go watch a movie at my house? Dr. Dre is there. And Dr. Dre, the key nigga to lock other niggas in to make it look cool. you like, damn, I look up to Dr. Dre, man. Let me fuck with this nigga because Dr. Dre going to be fucking with us. And that's real, but really, that ain't what's up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't cool for Dr. Dre to do that. You know what I'm saying? He should stay out of that shit. And, and niggas who know that this fuck deal shit going on should be letting niggas know, like, hey, man, look, that ain't really a great deal. You know what I'm saying? You need to try to do this shit yourself and build your momentum up and have some type of ownership so in the long run, you can eat. But they got all kind of tricks and trades they do. Come over to my house, watch a movie with me. You want to talk to Snoop? I put you on a record with Snoop. I got uh, all these motherfuckers signing me. I could put you on a song with them. Just to trick you into signing with these people, man. What we do in life, that goes in eternity. What up, y'all? It's Devin with Up TV, aka The Doc Connector, and rapper Slim Thug has been on a roll lately. Lately, he's been exposing the music industry, he's been exposing the Black Lives Matters movement, and he's even been exposing how hip hop is being used to promote black on black crime. And I honestly have to say that this couldn't have come at a more perfect time. Slim Thug is pretty much echoing everything I mentioned in my Candace Owens videos. But unfortunately, y'all don't listen to me, y'all won't listen to what Candace Owens has to say because y'all think she's controlled opposition which i'm not saying she's not but definitely what she was saying is the truth and y'all won't listen to kanye west many of y'all still think he's controlled opposition which i'm not saying he's not but what he's saying is the truth slim thug is speaking the truth uh kanye west is speaking the truth candace owens is speaking the truth i'm speaking the truth so maybe if y'all won't listen to me or kanye west or candace owens maybe you'll listen to slim thug now before i roll the film I have to give a warning in advance because Slim Thug does a lot of cussing in these clips and it would take me way too long to go and cut out each cuss word but I felt this video was necessary to make because of the real things that he is saying and a lot of our people need to understand why they need to come out of the hip hop industry and I've been saying this for years way before all these artists started to speak up about it go find my video stop bleeping rapping when i'm telling y'all the truth about this hip-hop industry and why you don't need to be in it why you don't need to be rapping there's other fields that you can go into you can be a doctor you can be a lawyer you can become a judge you can be a cop you can tip the scales of justice if only you would stop rapping rap today is killing our people hip-hop used to be conscious music but now it's all about killing it's all about drugs it's all about sex it's all about everything that is wrong with our communities everything that is wrong with the black community wake up my people you got to get out of that crap right all these artists who are coming into this industry they're signing slave deals these artists are selling their souls for the bag but what shall a profit a man if he should gain the world and lose his own soul and if y'all ain't figured it out by now this is the devil's world this is the devil's kingdom so instead of trying to work on your rap verses you need to start learning god's verses because if you ain't speaking god's verses then you speak in the devil's verses and that's real you better start living a life that serves the most high and not a life that serves the enemy in his agenda in his purpose but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and roll this film and let y'all hear what uh, Slim Thug has to say about Kanye West. After that, then I'm going to show y'all what Slim Thug has to say about the music industry. I'm sure many of y'all will leave this video and still go right back to what you're doing. But I pray to God that you open your eyes, that God opens your eyes, that God opens your ears. Because time is running out. And if you don't give your life to Christ now, then one day you're going to find yourself in hell with the enemy because you allowed the enemy to drag you to hell right along with him but here's slim thug listen to what he has to say i don't believe that kanye crashing out on black people i believe he is fighting for us in some type of way let the figure out do his little trolling and figure out and see what his last agenda is see what the full thing is now we see the white lives matter shirt say white lives matter 
And not lies, they say white lies. We got mad at him because he was liking Trump, because he wrote a MAGA hat and um and was supporting Trump, right? But we didn't let Biden get in this month. What the f is he doing? He got us more fucked up than when Trump was in there. So who was right? He say Democrats feel like they just automatically got our vote. That ain't right, because y'all ain't did fuzz. Y'all motherfuckers start ignoring us when y'all win these offices and get in these offices and shit, right? Black Lives Matter ain't did fuzz, man. Them people fucked over us for real. And that's fucked up. Everybody gave them all that money and they ain't do shit for us. And he's saying, I ain't change in the black community. It's still fucked up. I, I like Kanye West's free mind thinking. I like how he think and as a free-minded person, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to judge Kanye West. I believe that even right now, he has an agenda he's trying to cover that we know nothing about. Like, the niggas he's naming, I don't know them niggas. Like, I don't, I don't understand what he's talking about, you know what I'm saying? But I'm sure he do. And certain shit he doing is showing me that he do know what he's talking about. After I got the, because I had to... I'm like, man, I fuck with Ye. I got Yeezys on right now. What the fuck? I ain't got them on now, but yeah. I'm like, he can't be just crashing out saying white lives matter. So I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? So I did a little research. I looked at the uh, Instagram and I seen a little video of how he posted how Black Lives Matter uh, stole, you know, they got $80 million and ain't did shit for nobody in the hood. They was giving it to like gay people and shit. They say, you know, on the video. So it's like, that's crazy, like you know what I'm saying. To to know that them people, you know, raised all that type of money and still ain't do shit, and he basically saying that Black Lives Matter was a scam because niggas still dying every day. He says blood on the sidewalk, niggas still dying. Shit change, everything's still the same. Police still shoot niggas, everything's still fucked up. So I get him on that. The White Lives Matter shit, I'm sure he was just trolling. This is my speculation in my opinion. I don't know shit. I'm just a regular nigga. I'm not a billionaire. I don't know what the fuck he, you know, going on. I'm just going out my opinion. So, the White Lives Matter, I believe, was just a troll to get everybody attention and try to, you know, uh, do get his agenda across or whatever he working on. I just seen most deaf post a picture with the White Lives Matter shirt and it said white lives matter they blacked out the v and put white lives matter and put a, a some little black little line through the dude on the front so i don't know i don't believe that kanye crashing out on black people you know what i'm saying i don't believe he crashing out on black people and just gonna go bad like that i believe that he has an agenda i believe he is fighting for us in some type of way the thing is though a lot of people like like, let's say this. A lot of people stop fucking with Kanye West. A lot of black people don't fuck with Kanye already. You know what I'm saying? We been stopped fucking with him. Or a lot of people did. I ain't gonna lie. I'm still been a fan. A lot of people stopped fucking with Kanye a long time ago. When you go to his shows, you don't see majority black people there. You see white people. You see Latins there. You see Asian people there. You see a lot of other races, but you don't see majority black folks. So... Black people, I already kind of said, fuck Kanye West, you know what I'm saying? For the most part. Um, so, if you don't fuck with him, don't worry about what he say. Why you care what this man say? Like, if you don't buy his shit, or you don't support him, ignore him. Don't get let what he do offend you. Don't worry about what he do if you ain't a fan. That's how I feel like, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we ain't making Kanye rich today. It's all other races making Kanye rich today. He do, he getting paid out for them more than anybody. Black people should make the most out of whatever we the majority of it. We the majority of this, like country music would never let a motherfucker own them. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a black man own them. You know what I'm saying? They, only, they would never let, a country music motherfucker would never say, nah, a white man ain't gonna never say, Oh, we gonna sign to this black label and do all this. White, but black people sign to all kind of motherfuckers all the time, and they make the most out of our people, and don't even give a fuck about us. Don't do nothing for the hood. Don't do shit. Let motherfuckers talk about all this crazy shit on their music and don't say nothing. But let a motherfucker say something about a Jew. They gonna be apologizing in an hour. You can't say nothing about no Jew. 
Motherfuckers will be apologizing in an hour. But we can say, fuck uh, this black dude, we'll kill him. We'll do all this. That's cool. But when you say something about a Jew, they be like, hell no, nah, you out of there. That's how they do. And they make the most money off, they sh off our shit. That's not cool to me. I believe we should make the most money off our shit. That's why I'm strict on, man, be your own master. Because that's some slave shit to let another race, another dude who wouldn't let you do the same, own you. That's not cool to me. You know what I'm saying? That's my whole movement. That's who I am. I'm independent, holding my master. This is a motherfucking, um, my homeboy, you know, he a white dude too, but he cool. He be calling me damn near every week trying to buy my catalog. I'm like, it's bigger than money. You know what I'm saying? It's it's me. I don't want to, uh, 10 years from now, motherfuckers be playing my shit and I'm not getting no check. I done ran through the millions or something they gave me and I'm broke and motherfucker, I'm not getting no check out for nothing. This song, this hit song I had, cause I listen to old shit from the 70s to this day. I still listen to music from from the 50s, from the, you know, whatever. So why would I sell my shit and let another motherfucker eat out my shit and I just gotta look and starve after this check I just signed for go away? Cause we know that check finna be gone. We know that check finna be gone fast. So uh, in a couple years, while you niggas selling y'all masters off and doing all this shit here, when that check gone, cause that motherfucker clocking. As soon as you bought that, the tax people took half off top and now you that bitch clocking down fast than the motherfucker. Now you gotta try to create more hits or whatever. And that's not guaranteed, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, own your own, off of integrity. Don't let no other motherfucker own you. That's like slave shit, like to me. Like I would never let a white man own my shit or get more than me off my shit. And I'm not a racist, but I just believe that they wouldn't do it either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get them the same energy they give me. Like, and it's love, you know, I don't give a fuck. Like I don't mind partnering with white people. Like I don't knock nobody who partner with them or whatever people. It ain't white people. Actually, why I keep saying white people is like Jewish people, like uh, Jimmy Iovine and all the motherfuckers who own these record labels, who don't even, who don't even, you know, like it, it, it hurts me to see motherfuckers culture vultures. You know what I'm saying? Other motherfuckers eat more than us off our shit in anything that we the majority of. Football, you know I say this shit every week. Football, basketball, how the fuck we ain't got more owners than black, black owners than white owners when we got more black players than any of them. That's not right. We have to fix that shit. You know what I'm saying? Same shit with uh Louis V. I don't like that this what this this dude is owning all this uh this uh shit and the richest motherfucker and we just I don't like it ain't even him. It, you know, I can't knock the hustlers. I ain't knocking none of them as hustlers. I'm just knocking our mind frame as people, knowing that we give all this shit, this money, let motherfuckers own us and they don't give a fuck about us. You know, niggas still dying every day and you know, and they cashing out or whatever out for deaths, the selling the record selling more people they families ain't benefiting off this shit it's all fucked up man and you have to have some type of integrity and say man you know what i'm not gonna let no other motherfucker own me this is this is what i do this is my shit this is my music and he, and i like how he got on adidas for copying his shit you know what i'm saying adidas was copying his shit we seen them pictures we seen them pictures them niggas was copying his shit after he came over there and blew them up you know what I'm saying? That ain't right. I like how he fought the motherfuckers and told them, man, fuck that. And called them out on they bullshit. A lot of niggas let shit slide like that. A lot of niggas take that little check and shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of niggas do. And that's what's fucked up. And a lot of niggas will coach you into taking the check and being another motherfucker slave too. Your lawyer will do it. Your manager will do it. They just want their percentage. Everybody out for themselves. So they not going to tell you, hey, man. It's smarter if you own your shit in the long run, you know what I'm saying, than giving this motherfucker, taking this loan, because it ain't even no money, taking this loan from this motherfucker to make this album that you gotta pay him all his money back before you even get money. That's not really smart if you're thinking business. That's not smart in no other business you thinking about. You say you wanna open a restaurant and you take motherfucker, it's 100,000 and the motherfucker loan you 100,000 and he get all his money back before you get anything and then own your shit and you get a, a, a very small percentage, not even the 50-50 cut. No, that shit is, is rape. It's, it's rape, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? It's all bad. So understand that. But these people are doing this on purpose because they taking advantage of us as black people because they know 
we coming from the hood and never got this type of money for our raps. We never got this type of money. We never seen this type of money before. They like, taking advantage of us being broke, basically. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this nigga from the hood, he ain't never seen 300,000. Once I tell him he got 300,000, he ain't never got paid for writing no shit on the paper. So he like, man, I'll take anything and just figure it out later. No, that's dumb shit, man. That's totally dumb shit, man. And they've been doing this shit over and over again and motherfuckers steady getting paid, going broke. And and then in 10 years, you, they disappear back in the hood, struggling, you know what I'm saying? And not getting no money from their shit because they took a check for their publishing. They took a check for their ownership of their album. They, you know what I'm saying? And that's not what's up, man. Straight like that, man. If you think about it, look how I live. I live way better than 90% of these motherfucking rappers out here. And I don't sell nothing, nigga. I don't go platinum, I don't go gold or nothing, nigga. I just sell independent, direct to my fans. Straight like that. And I'm able to live, I'm in Dubai, nigga, for two weeks. And I ain't went platinum and I, I dropped Big Slim and probably made more money off of that shit than motherfuckers made off of they, I get a check every month off this shit. And I get paid off of old shit from day one. So now I'm able to live a life like I'm supposed to live. But I see so many other rappers who had way bigger hits than me who ain't living like me. They garage don't look like mine. They house don't look like mine. They not able to do what I do because they took the fast way out. My peers, motherfuckers who started with me, not living like me because they took the deals. And I'm the whistleblower who I always tell the niggas, uh, um, you don't even own your masters. Go report to your masters. I feel like, fuck the baby. I feel like I'm blackballed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm blackballed. They don't want me to tell that to nobody. So, of course, I ain't getting no radio play. I ain't getting no play. That's what I'm saying. A lot of motherfuckers was like, nigga, you going, you trying to get out that deal. Nigga, you tripping. You stupid. You doing this here. One thing Slim Thug always had was confidence in himself, man. I had confidence in myself, and I always had self-value, okay? I understood and had self-value from day one to know that I don't need none of you niggas. My talent will take me to where I need to go. That's why I'm never celebrated in a, in a lot of ways. I started in 98 with Swisher Highs. They wanted me to sign with them. I didn't sign with Swisher Highs. I started my own shit. I did Boss Hog Outlaws and did my own shit. Okay, niggas not gonna celebrate me on the now because I done left the Swisher Highs and did my own shit and took this shit to a whole nother level. Like, niggas ain't so happy about that. Like, they like, oh, you know, whatever. You know, he, whatever. So it's hard to get celebrated when you ain't paying niggas. Like, when niggas ain't in your pockets, people don't want to celebrate you. You know what I'm saying? They like, okay, whatever. But at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck about a nigga celebrating me. I care about that monthly check. I don't even look at sales or nothing. All I care about is that monthly check. When that motherfucker hit, I know I'm doing something right or am I doing something wrong. You know what I'm saying? And that's what niggas need to learn. They're trying to come up fast and think long term because life is a marathon, man. I don't want no big check now because I know that check go fast. You know what I'm saying? And I and, and think about how many old songs you playing of mine right now. I still get paid off that shit. Th them other niggas who, uh, you know, signed deals and was shining and, you know, had the spotlight at first and, you know, was the ones on top. It looked like they was winning. Where they at now? You know what I'm saying? Where they at now? It's because they took that check and so they sold and gave up ownership. And I told everybody, bro, when I got the game for myself, I told everybody, you can go look at any, listen to any album I have. This is what I preach. This cool shit. Now niggas trying to say, uh, you know, I own my masters and shit. I've been talking about this shit. You can listen to this shit from uh, everything from day one. I've been on owning your shit, man. This is what I preach. This is who I am. And I, be, I believe that's why a lot of motherfuckers don't hear a lot of shit from me because I'm trying to whistleblow and say, man, fuck them record labels. Look how many niggas are getting deals and going broke. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not hating, okay, if that's your situation, you want to be on a record label and it work out for you like a nigga like Drake, probably it work out for him. But we all ain't Drake. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand who you are. If you ain't no nigga who make catchy melodies who going to be on the radio every time and be on the radio every time and all the time and... You know, if you a nigga who got a voice like mine and, and rap about street shit, you're not going to be on the radio like that, kid. You're not going to get that type of pop spins that a Drake would get. You know what I'm saying? 
You're not gonna cross over like that. So if you know that, and you know you sudden to sell a hundred thousand versus a million like Drake, you should try to have more of that hundred thousand coming to you than to somebody else. That's how you gotta do it. You gotta say, well, okay, even though I'm not Drake and I can't sell as many records as him, this records I am gonna sell, I'm gonna get the most of that money coming to me. You feel me? And that's how you should think and understand that's the way to go. Build up self-value before you do anything. I'm not saying you can't partner with a label. A, a partnership should be 50-50. It should be 70-30. It should be 60-40. It shouldn't be them 90% and you get 10% when you in the studio every night. You in the, uh, you in the, you doing all the work and putting, you know, man. No, how the fuck do that make sense, man? It don't make sense. You can't make that make sense to me, man. Like, I'm in the studio, what the fuck? Are... And then you go to the office with these people, man. It be these random white folks in that office. Hey, how you... you know these people don't know you. You know these people don't give a fuck about you. You know these people working in this building and selling you a motherfucking dream, bro. Like, it just felt like get out in that bitch, bro. I'm like, who the fuck is these weirdos? Like, you know, like, nah. But then you listening to your lawyer and he hyping you up and you listening to your manager and he hyping you up. But why are they hyping you up? They hyping you up to do this shit because they getting a percentage. They getting a percentage. If you say, man, I don't want this deal, how much the lawyer get paid? Nothing. So who's on your side for real? If you say, no, I don't want to get this deal, how much your manager gonna get paid? Nothing. So who is on your side for real? Man, you can't even listen to your own people, my nigga. Like, because everybody is gonna do what's best for them. And then when you talking deals, if you go in there and say, man, you know what? I don't want no I don't want no money, you know what I'm saying? I just want to have ownership. Let me do this here. Your lawyer not going to be happy with that. He going to hype you up to say, "Man, no, take the million. I'm telling you, sell your publishing, sell your publishing to them cuz why? He get a percentage." Understand this, man. These people is not on your side. Everybody is out for self. Everybody is out for self. Understand that, man. Everybody is out for self. And there you have it. Slim Thug said it. They took that check and sold their soul. But what are your thoughts? Sound off in the comment section and let me know. And because there will be no Up TV without viewers like you, I would like to give a special shout out to anybody who has donated to or supported the channel in any type of way. This is Devin with Up TV. I love you, family. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, hit that bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. As always, give your life to Yeshua, and I'll holla at y'all later. Peace. Thank you for watching Up TV 2. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to Up TV 2 and Up TV, or watch one of these great videos here and enjoy. Peace.